Hi guys, welcome back. We are continuing Bad Girls Club. Finally, it's been so long since I've watched the show. I need to find out when Genevicia leaves my life forever. <laughs> I have to scroll back to see what the hell happened. So I think that they kind of found out that Genevicia was playing them basically and she didn't really intend to change she just wanted to trick them into staying there don't know why but whatever okay this episode is called cordelia and the chamber of secrets all right i wiped her condiments in my ass i pissed in her sink and i'm sitting right here doing a glass of wine <laughs> oh is cordelia gonna finally spin spill the beans is that what it is the only thing that's going through my head is that i wish there was Taylor, not Scott, my bad. I don't feel bad for you. It's a very conscious decision you made. Finally, with Lyric on, are the housemates ready for a new bad girl? I've never heard of this this replacement. I've heard of most of the cast, most except for like the first season. Going to his work, harassing him, stalking him, and crying, and, and begging, and pleading. And he's going to be over me really fast. He won't even call me back. Finally, she's realizing he's not going to wait around for her. And she fucked up. This whole thing is temporary, and she has to go back to her real life. And she's toast. Did you guys have fun at the party? It was a really interesting was experience. Interesting. Like, yeah. That party turned out is tanisha wearing the same top again like with the sweater like the black and the white and the chain because he's my boss and i want to get fired this job is mandatory and i gotta do it i just have to be here i don't think any of you guys deserve the full amount honestly i'm glad they stopped this they should have done something different than the real world yeah let's start planning this party early decoration this is a lingerie nice. party yes so do you guys do you guys want to do it or not i do all right, cool. Can they say no? I hate the fact that people, they're power trips. It's like those little rent cops They walk around thinking that they're cops. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, authority? Yeah, I don't like her, but she's she's right. The <laughs> second people get certain type of power, they fucking abuse it. I think Cordelia is drinking a lot more now after she broke up with Taylor because she wants to... That was such a fed question. Why do you think Cordelia is drinking more now that she broke up with Taylor? Answer POQ, by the way. I'll call Taylor every day for as long as I have to because I know that he'll forgive me. Like, there has to be some oh, way I can get it. She's one of those that just doesn't leave people alone. Hey. 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 I'm tired of this. I hope you're not getting tired. That's so manipulative. Like, you broke up with him and now that you're lonely and you realize you have no one else, you're gonna harass this man. Dude, when you really are happy with someone, you, you want, like, you know, you sleep in the same bed with them. You don't cheat. You want to see them every day. You want, you don't want to see other guys. You want to talk to them. You can't wait. She's so right. Wow. Oh, is that him? Let's find out. This is Andrea um, from Portland, and oh. I'm going to be your new roommate. Oh, never mind. Andrea from Portland. You guys know that um, I was going to be coming in tomorrow. So, if somebody could give me a- This is like, they used to let them know. In later seasons, they just let them go and let the dogs fucking eat them. I would say wolves, but like, ugh, let's not gas them. And we're gonna come home, we'll have her see how much fun we are, and then we'll dish her off to the hyena sisters. You're a mother, like, grow up. After we let her stay, and it's kind of like a slap in the face, and I just, I want to choke her, but I can't. <laughs> I'm not getting docked again. I don't want to see nobody get docked. Okay, maybe the timeline isn't super fucked up because she just be wearing that outfit. What's up? <laughs> I think I f***ed up. <sighs> I don't think I'll ever find someone. Ooh, this is so awkward. I don't know how to feel, guys. That I will never find a guy like Taylor ever again. And I wish I was the average girl who could just recognize what she has. Why does she keep saying that she's not the average girl? Like, just stop. So you were gonna leave me for this guy? No, I'm not leaving you for this guy. This guy. No, that's, that's, that's what your plan was. That's why no, I was called. No, no, you don't understand. He's catching on, Taylor. You're no fool. Nothing to me. The fact that, it, like the fact that it means nothing to you makes it worse. I could see if maybe you liked this guy, and maybe you realized that he was something that I didn't have, but it was just some cheesy guy that you've made out with. Second, you had a chance to forget about me, you took it. Dragger. <laughs> oh, she definitely really went there to like be alone. There's a camera in there. I knew she was an alcoholic and she drank her ways away, but I didn't know that she was depressed like that. 
Oh, I mean, at least they feel bad about it. That's a, that's a good sign. As much as we fight, I don't want anybody to die. I don't want anybody to be like, like drink you know, really themselves sick. to death. Yeah, it's like sad to watch. Oh, she's hiding behind the curtains. Like, what is she? I don't know. Like, what is she upset about that she, like, Taylor won't take her back, basically? I mean, she's going through it. But, you know, it's, like, hard to feel, like, super bad because it's something she brought upon herself. She's um, Mexican with big fake boobs and no ass. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> I mean, it's nice that they're friends, you know, like, I still don't like Genevieve because she's dirty and, like, racist and I don't like that. But everybody else, I'm glad they're getting along. I don't care about Genevieve. <laughs> Minus her from anything I ever say about everyone. I don't care what kind of a bad girl she is. She has no idea what we've already started. This whole bad girl thing, I don't even know. I think they're just women with different personality traits. <laughs> you know, like, I don't think any of them are bad girls. I feel like I'm going into prison right now. <laughs> like, when I come into this house, I want to get- That's so true though. <laughs> it's that ass fucking prison because you can't leave. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Alright. <laughs> My hand. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm rude. I don't care. Alright, Hannah. There's no reason for that. I'm gonna try to play fair. If she likes fighting and drama and her ears hurting and headaches, she go hang out with the Hannah sisters. And she's being dirty, shoving bottles up our asses and then making people eat them and also saying slurs. It'll hang out with us. And I can see Andrea over the bed with a knife. You know, it's like one of those dun 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 dun. <laughs> Psycho? <laughs> like that. She doesn't seem like that. Jen's going to find a newspaper and looking for her own goddamn job. I want own John Jam job. This is what the email's gonna say. Here, my douchebag. Oh, box. we're like matching. First off, that's not good. I refuse to do that job. You can't live in the house if you don't do the I job. Don't you understand that? I'm about to punk my box. I know. Oh, I want to read that email. Piss me off. You might be a cool guy, and I understand you think it's cool to be a boss, but I don't like the way you try to punish me and scam me due to these other rejects. You are talking to an official party girl from Vegas who throws the dopest parties from Vegas to Cali. You can ask anybody, but that's not the point. First off, as a boss, you don't drink at your own party, and you don't trip over the decor that you think is gonna make a party. What makes a party is the people you invite. And when you hang out with a bunch of Cali, blank, 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 I feel like this is 20 year old. Trifling hoes, you got yourself a slumber party. The last time I had balloons at a party was on my daughter's birthday. You're worried about food. These bulimic bitches just throw it up anyway. It's very hard to throw a party because the only people who came were your friends who are lame. The party was lame because of the people, not the setup. Also, I will not let my name be associated with these parties because of the fact that they're not that cool. And I'm cool. Please don't get offended with this letter like I was not offended by you you i think once you get to a point like you just don't want to be there anymore you don't you'll do whatever to like make them kick you out basically instead of quitting yourself you know which is weird because she wants the power but then she doesn't want the power if the rule is you don't work you go home why not just quit why make them fire you okay well any opinions on andrea guys she seems quite normal i mean she has some issues some addictions some disorders that i'm sure they're gonna exploit somehow they brought on andrea as a replacement for lyric so long after and now genevieve is about to leave i think back then they couldn't afford to just keep them in hotels just in case like one girl left and then bring them on so they actually had to like reach out to her buy her a ticket wait for her to come you know what i mean and i think in later seasons it was just like they were in the hotel room just waiting to see if they were replacements i think they do that for the challenge anyway hopefully genevieve goes home hopefully the last episode we have to see of her is the next episode but thank you so much for watching so great to be back let me know what you thought down below and i will see you next time bye